Working out and letting your body feel loose is a euphoric feeling. You are full of energy and you are motivated after your intense workout sessions. But do you have the proper gear and apparel to work out? Dressing right is very important before the workout. You want clothes that allow muscle movement and let you sweat through. With Gymshark, you get more than just sweat wicking apparel. Gymshark's strategy will be studied in business courses for years to come as the humble supplement company that moved into clothing. The brand came to life in 2012 when a group of like-minded fitness enthusiasts wanted to create the perfect workout gear. They offer stylish and functional clothing that emphasizes performance wear for both men and women. Recently surpassing the £1 billion valuation, Gymshark has become one of the world's most popular active wear brands with high-quality materials, fits, and prints. Gymshark has caught everyone's hearts with its excellent seamless line and next-level comfort. With brand approval from stars like David Laid, the company has undoubtedly raised the standards for other fitness brands. But with all this, does Gymshark live up to the hype? And is it worth it? Let's find out how Gymshark went from grandma sewing machine to a billion-dollar company in less than 10 years. Rising to the top from its small, humble beginnings has surely taken a lifetime's worth of hard work. A teenager Ben Francis launched the brand in 2012, and similar to many other famous brands, they too started it in a small garage in the UK. Francis took it upon his granddad, who ran a furnace lining company, and decided he also wanted to start his own business. So, this 19-year-old kid who used to sell supplements quit, as margins were too low, switched to clothing and worked out of his parents' basement. All this with a little game plan, no pricing strategies, and no technical wear engineering background. Francis's passion was further sparked by an information technology class at school for building websites and apps. At the same time, Francis had also developed an interest in fitness. Then, in 2011, this 19-year-old student at Birmingham's Aston University created the first version of the Gymshark website. He teamed with his school friend Lewis Morgan in 2012. The founder Francis started by sewing and screen printing logos on gym apparel, making clothing they wanted to wear themselves at the gym. Moving into e-commerce, they found a demand for the products and altered their strategy to accelerate their growth. So then those two things just sort of came together, and I started making a load of fitness websites, more for fun than anything, he explained. Francis attended Body Power at the end of 2012. He wanted Gymshark's tag in the upcoming show. In doing so, Francis nearly zeroed his bank account to get space on the trade show floor. He and his friends had difficulty developing the luxe-fitted tracksuit, which eventually paid off. Gymshark's growth reached so high order quantity that they never expected. The pair were ready to give it all into the fitness industry and initially used Gymshark website to drop ship fitness supplements. The pair earned from drop shipping, and Francis was a Pizza Hut delivery man. Combining earnings from both sides, they bought a sewing machine and screen printer to start making their fitness wear. So, without taking on the additional cost and risk of buying stock, they effectively acted as middlemen to market and sell the products. Things went nuts when they put products online, more traffic, more sales than ever, and just within half an hour. Sales were roughly $42,000 in a single day, compared to $400 a day in the past. With this momentum, Ben and his teams started scaling Gymshark. They shipped their products to 131 countries to their fans and customers with a gush of the wind. Their brand started with only supplements and a small line of gym wear, but in 2013, their Lux tracksuit broke the internet and stashed thousands of buyers. Then they started understanding social media's power and began reaching out to influencers. While they didn't do anything revolutionary, Gymshark was intelligent and struck the right place at the right time. Gym clothes were stuck in the 2000s when gym fashion was all baggy tap-out. Gymshark landed with a new niche for sleek, form-fitting, fashionable gym apparel. There wasn't anything like it at the time. Even if there was, it wasn't being marketed or branded well. Gymshark also capitalized on the whole Instagram and fitness social media wave. Gymshark started the whole skinny fit for gym attire back then. Their first and original suit ever made cost about $120 top and bottom, excellent quality, and the best fit. But selling clothes to guys won't make you rich. Women are bigger shoppers, which is proven. Looking at your local malls, you'll see that every woman's selection is 80% of the store and 20% is the guy's side. 
Gymshark 2 took off when they introduced women's clothing. Gymshark was launched in the early days of social media influencers, so influencer marketing has been the backbone of Gymshark's digital strategy since its early days. This started Gymshark's athlete community, eventually leading to the company's worldwide recognition. The owners tossed the suits at the most famous and biggest gym influencers and YouTubers back then to promote their product. Jeff Sade and Matt Ogus were rocking the suit, they had a massive following on social media. Not only do the influencers post about the company on social media regularly, but they also review the products they receive in kind in exchange for their services. They make YouTube videos head to toe in Gymshark apparel about their workouts, which has led to the brand to reach over 20 million. The boom Gymshark needed to set up to a multi-million company was caused by the girl models. Gymshark wasn't built overnight, it was all a step process. It took these guys about four to five years to get where they are today. To raise awareness, the brand contacted several fitness influencers, including high-profile bodybuilders like Lex Griffin and Nikki Bakita. Like everyone else, the influencers were given free Gymshark apparel in the hope that they would wear and promote the products on their respective social media channels. But not everyone can be a Gymshark influencer. Although Gymshark doesn't have any criteria when choosing its athletes, it's not easy for anyone to figure out this. Initially, enhancing visibility was their primary goal, and that's what Gymshark wanted to work with. They wanted a team with as much passion for fitness and helping others as they did, and division to grow into something bigger than themselves. Now we call this influencer marketing, but no one else was doing this in e-commerce at that time. Therefore, they cherry-picked the ones having the power to make their brand catch fire, absolutely love their products, and would be with them for a long time. On Instagram, Gymshark is after large following fitness accounts. Then they reach out and sponsor those influencers. But Gymshark isn't just all about the numbers. Being their brand ambassador means the person has to have a substantial following with solid engagement. Besides, they must fit their products and customers to ensure authenticity and credibility. Their strategy worked, turning many influencers into brand ambassadors, now called Gymshark athletes. The company does so much more than just its clothing, though. They give you a wide variety of products and content to their customers, which, of course, everyone loves. Their clothing is unique, and the quality is pretty good, too. What appeals to a broader range of people is the high fashion items in their field, but also the wide variety of more casual apparel. Keeping up with the latest trends and ensuring their customers are always looking their best, the design team is constantly coming out with new products. While many companies sell fitness apparel, not all other brands place the same level of importance on style. Gymshark treasures its community, and they show it by regularly engaging with them and giving back, whether hosting challenges or giveaways, sponsoring athletes, or even reposting photos on Instagram, the customers are always involved. Along with this, Gymshark fosters its online community through user-generated content. There are workout videos on its YouTube channel for audiences to replicate or follow. It will then post user-generated content from those that do, which in turn helps to motivate others. This shows a more relatable aspect of the brand. It is open for people who might otherwise be put off by unattainable and flawless imagery on its social media channels and website. Gymshark is not the only place that posts the content of members, but they indeed show appreciation for this more than other brands. Gymshark is always looking for new ways to get involved with its customers. This helps the customers get to know the people around the brand better. Gymshark is always doing events, whether it's the Gymshark Games, upcoming summer events, or even some of their own branded parties. Customer support is open 24-7, and if buyers have troubles, they are handled. Gymshark consistently asks for feedback from its community, particularly on Twitter, where it conducts polls about favorite products and workouts. Again, this makes its audience feel valued and continues the advocacy cycle. Being an e-commerce-only brand, Gymshark connects both the online and offline world, fostering a sense of community and investing in the feeling that the brand is about more than just the products it sells has been a strategic focus. The offline world has been conquered mostly through its Gymshark meetups and expos, where fans can meet their favorite fitness influencers. The brand has grown this concept into an expo world tour, taking its events to places in Germany, America, and Australia, all documented on social channels, creator influencer styles vlogs on YouTube. 
Interestingly, with the sheer number of fans resulting in chaotic queues and long waiting times, Gymshark's massive growth eventually made these events impossible to run. Acknowledging that it had outgrown the scale of its expos, Gymshark started to create pop-up stores instead, where it now holds ticketed events featuring select athletes. So, while adding a whole new element to incentivize paying customers, the new strategy has allowed the brand to continue running community-focused events on a bigger scale. Gymshark has exceptional sales strategies. Prioritizing sales or deals is not a retailer thing Gymshark follows. Instead, it focuses on consistently affordable prices compared to competitor brands. Its birthday and Black Friday are two sales-focused days it participates in yearly. Working with the Facebook Creative Group, Gymshark capitalizes on Black Friday as a marketing opportunity to create an impactful and innovative campaign. The brand went against its typically light and overexposed style, turning all its imagery black for the blackout sales. In the early days, during a website outage on one of the most famous Black Friday sales, the founder personally wrote over 2,500 apology letters to customers, including discounts. This way, they could make their purchases later. You get the hype, but it's just a single example of their excellent customer service. Gymshark prioritizes hiring the right people for each role they fill and focuses on alignment with company values and mission. The internal operations team that makes everything happen behind the scenes is too something to be recognized. Over 500 team members are packed in the Gymshark's headquarters, where they boast a fantastic employee gym for the team members and athlete ambassadors visiting the HQ. Gymshark is all in on documentation. Their company was built publicly while sharing updates transparently through their social media channels. The company shows everything from walkthroughs of the headquarters and gym to influential company updates using a combination of video and professional images. Part of the reason they built their business this transparent is because it has such a large following on social media. Getting the inside perspective on the company's ongoing operations makes fans feel unique and privileged to be part of the community. Gymshark has evolved to be more than just a fitness brand. It stands as a way of life for many community members. It opens a path to meet like-minded ambassadors across the globe and has its way of teaching you techniques, recipes, exercises, and motivations for your own fitness goals. The focus needs to be sustainable to be one of the most successful e-commerce brands the world has yet to see. For Gymshark, it was people and the product. A fine line of fitness and athleisure apparel is nothing if you do not boast the supporting community internally and externally. So, the takeaway is that customer service is the key to success. Serving people right is the best way to build trust with them, whether it's customer service for consumers purchasing from your brand or service for the internal team running your operations. After all, the products live up to the expectations, and while they are pricey, they are incredibly reasonable during deals. The costs are comparable to other companies and much cheaper than other more expensive lines. Gymshark is a shining example of how to pitch and market a brand to a specific audience, capitalizing on clever social media and community focused campaigns. This is the end of the video. If you'd like it to do well too, click the like button and to get notifications from our channel for more content like this, click on the subscribe button.